Death in Toxim. Today I will tell you a sad story. Unfortunately, it is a real story. You will feel unhappy about this story. This story is about a young boy. It was sunny and warm. It was a lovely spring day. I decided to have a walk in Basakshahir. I was tired now. I went to the yard of the big mosque and sat on a bench. The mosque has a big garden. The ground is covered with marble stones. This mosque is new and very beautiful. It is different from many mosques. It has a nice library and a coffee house. There are many books and five computers in the library. The children read books and surf the net in the library. The old people wait for the call to prayer in the small coffee house, drinking tea and chatting. It is a pleasure for me to sit in the yard of the mosque. Sometimes I read a book or listen to an audio story with my MP3 player here. After a short time, an old man came and sat on my bench. The old man greeted me. I was reading a book and I did not want to start a conversation. The old man was silent for a while. Then he looked at me and said, It is a very beautiful day, isn't it? Yes, I shortly answered. I was afraid that the man was talkative. The weather is nice. Life is beautiful, but not for me. I am in a big pain. My suffering is never finished. The man carried on talking. I stopped reading my book and looked at the old man's brown eyes. The old man was the winner. He had a story and he needed to share his story with someone. I felt that it would be a sad story. It was two years ago. My son was just 19 years old. He wanted to go to Taksim for the New Year celebrations. There was a short pause. The old man looked into the sky. He was lost in his thoughts. I told him not to go to Taksim that night, but he did not listen to me. He just wanted to have some fun with his friends. I knew some stories about the New Year celebrations in Taksim. Taksim is a central place in Istanbul. It has a big square and a long street for walking. There are many bars, nightclubs, and shops on the street. It is also one of the tourist attractions in Istanbul. Many people go to Taksim that night. Some young people drink wine a lot. They get drunk and harass some girls. Taksim is a dangerous place on the eve of the new year. The old man carried on telling his story. My son was just 19 years old. He was a very successful university student. He was kind and generous. He was like an angel. There were tears in his eyes. I already knew the end of the story. I had heard this story from the media. He went to Taksim and some troublemakers shot at him only for fun. Some bullies killed my son. The police caught a few suspects but they denied that they had murdered my son. The eyewitnesses were afraid of these dangerous men, so they kept quiet. I was shocked now. Are the killers free now? Yes, they are, the tearful father answered. I hate living. I miss my son so much. I want to die every day. Let me show you his photo. The old man grabbed his wallet and took a piece of newspaper out of it. He handed the paper to me. I read the news and saw the young boy's photo. His name was Ahmed Dwan. He was a handsome and happy boy. He had been killed by some modern bandits in Taksim for fun. These bandits had no respect for human life and no fear of God. 
I did not know what to say. I did not know how to console the old man. I was speechless. Soon, I collected myself together and started speaking. I understand your suffering. It must be very difficult for you. But you know, we believe in two worlds, and we know death never means non-existence. Therefore, your son lives in a different realm. I hope you will be together with your son in the next world. I am sure your son must be in paradise now. The old man looked at me with his shining brown eyes. Now there was a smile on his face. That is why I want to die soon and be reunited with him in the next world, he told me. Now there was a long silence. There is a website dedicated to the memory of this innocent boy. You can click on the link, see Ahmed Dolan's pictures, and read the comments of his friends. May God have mercy on him. The story was written by Turgayevren. The story was read by Mrs. Jill.